So in the next question we have a point O is taken inside a rhombus ABCD. So since they are giving us that the figure is a rhombus, so we need to know first of all all the properties of rhombus. We have discussed uh, in great detail the properties of different quadrilaterals. You can watch that video. I'll share the link. For now, it's a rhombus. First thing is uh, ABCD is a rhombus. The given thing. So when ABCD is a rhombus, first thing is all sides are equal. All sides equal. I'm just telling you one by one, opposite angles equal, diagonal bisect each other and are perpendicular to each other. Okay. So, one thing is given that it is a rhombus. Now, they are saying point O is taken inside the rhombus such that it is equidistant, the distance from the point vertex P and D is equal. See, uh, if the point can be here, here, whatever, but uh, let's try to understand. There are two points. They are in diagonal shape. I'm just taking them straight. There is a point which is equidistant, which is somewhere here. Is it very easily? We can see that. So it can also be here, it can also be here, it can also be here. As you can see these all are equal, this equals to this, this equals to this, this equals to this. So point can be anywhere. So BD from B and D the point should be equal, it can be here, here, anywhere. So the convenient place is to take exactly in the middle point o. convenient place I'm saying so because they are not saying wherever it is it's my wish I am drawing it at the center so what we have to show is show that AOC is a straight line AOC is a straight line So let me draw another figure where I am not taking it at the center. Again A, B, C, D. So as I told, it can be here, but it can be here also. So that means this part is equal to this part. And this is equal to this. And we need to prove that AOC is a straight line. So first of all we have to think that DO equals to OB and we need to prove that AOC is a straight line. How to prove that mathematically? One thing is we can see that it's a straight line obviously it's a straight line but Mathematically, we need some equality, some already proven things. Any straight line at a given point is always at 180 degree. We can prove that this angle plus this angle is 180 degree. So remember this thing. So for proving a straight line, we need to prove that the two adjacent angles are at uh, 180 degree. So first of all starting from here as you can see these are the two triangles I can say that we can just prove the congruency of this two in triangle AOD and triangle AOB First thing is AD is equals to AB 
given second thing is OD equals to OB which is also given third thing is AO equals to AO common therefore triangle AOD is congruent to triangle AOB by SSS congruency criteria so uh, we know that this angle is also equal to this angle so angle 1 is equals to angle 2 by CP CTC now similarly if I take these two triangles this side equals to this this side equals to this this side common so similarly angle 3 is equal to angle 4 fine as we know this is a circle obviously at a particular point if I draw all the all the uh, point all the angles sorry so it will be 360 degree as angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 equals to 360 degree uh, the property is complete angle complete angle clear now stay focused on what we need to prove we need to prove that it is a straight line how to prove that 1 and 4 is 180 degree angle 1 plus angle 4 is 180 degree we should prove this thing so stay focused angle 1 is equal to angle 2 so angle 1 remain angle 1 and angle 2 becomes angle 1 because I need to be at angle 1 and angle 3 becomes angle 4 and angle 4 remains angle 4 360 degree so 2 angle 1 plus 2 angle 4 equals to 360 degree so 2 becomes common angle 1 plus angle 4 equals to 360 degree 2 goes there angle 1 plus angle 4 equals to 360 divided by 2 therefore angle 1 plus 4 equals to 180 degree so we can say that therefore AOC is a straight line a very important question for exam hope you understood this question see you in the next video